everyone and welcome to the December edition of my Favourite Things video series. I'm so happy to say that this video is very kindly being sponsored by Lily Silk. So I'll be telling you a bit about Lily Silk and about the products of theirs that I've been especially loving wearing and using lately. But in this video I'll also be sharing some other favourite things from the past few weeks that I've been really loving and am excited to tell you about. So as always, I hope you enjoy my recommendations. So Lily Silk offers a wonderful range of women's and men's wear fashion, as well as sleepwear and lifestyle accessories. They use natural premium materials like mulberry silk and Mongolian cashmere. And I think that their products would make a great choice for Christmas presents for anyone who values a bit of timeless elegance in their lives. I'm really excited to say that Lily Silk have a discount code for my followers. So if you use the code 12 Miranda, that's 12 Miranda, I'll put all of this in the description box for you as well. But if you use that discount code, then you get 12% off everything on the Lily Silk website. But I also wanted to tell you about the products that I've been especially loving from them. So to start off, this jumper is by Lily Silk and it is such a favourite of mine already. It's been really hard to get me out of this. It is so cosy and warm and deliciously soft on my skin. I just love this. It's 100% merino wool. I went for the eggshell white colour because I thought it made the perfect winter white, which is such a classic for this time of year. I love this jumper because it's really versatile. I can either dress it down, wearing it just over loungewear or with jeans, but I can also dress it up a little bit too with some glitzy jewellery. I like to wear this jumper with some slim fitting black trousers. I might throw on a blazer over top if I'm going out and I want to look a bit more elegant. And then for more of a Christmas party look, I love to pair a cosy jumper like this with a fancier skirt. Something like this vintage cabbages and roses skirt that I have that's made of tulle and I love to add some glitzy jewellery too. I like the detailing to it, like the fine rib that goes all through the jumper. I love the length of the turtleneck, which you could turn all the way up, but I actually like to keep it turned down and it still keeps my neck really warm and cosy, which is fabulous for the winter months ahead. The next product that I chose from Lily Silk is this gorgeous light blue blouse. I love the mulberry silk that Lily Silk use because it adds this almost pearlescent sheen to the silk which I think looks so beautiful and I think you can really see that in this light blue colour. I really like the shape of this blouse. I think a v-neck always suits me. It's one of the most universally flattering necklines and I love that it's just an easy pull-on style. So it's very simple to wear. The sleeves add an extra touch of elegance, I think, with their lovely flow. And there's a slightly vintage style to the slightly overblown sleeves and then the nipped in cuffs that button up at the bottom. It's very easy to look elegant in this. I can simply throw on this blouse over some of my slim fitting black trousers and it just is stylishly simple. But if I want to spruce it up a little bit, then I might pair my vintage Machino blazer, which just adds a touch more sophistication to the look. And if I'm going for some festive fun, then I love to pair this blouse with a vintage Chanel waistcoat that I have that adds just a touch extra sparkle to it. And then the final Lily Silk product I wanted to share with you as one of my favourite things is their Lily Soft pillowcases. So these pillowcases are made with a premium quality silk that is extra soft, softer than regular silk, so it feels amazing on my skin when I sleep on these pillowcases at night. 
These ones are also especially good if you have extra sensitive skin or if you're prone to allergic reactions because these are made with undyed silk so there are no colorants in these pillowcases and they're so soft they're just really soothing on your skin. I was really interested to read about the beauty benefits of sleeping with silk pillowcases. They help to prevent fine lines and wrinkles and they also help to keep your hair frizz free overnight, which I think we can all appreciate. But I was especially interested in how they help avoid wrinkles and that dreaded creased face um, that you can get sometimes after sleeping with cotton. I've had a few experiences of that recently when I wanted to wake up and start filming early in the morning and I've had a big line down my face from where I've been sleeping on a cotton pillowcase and it's really left marks and indentations on my face. So I was already wanting a silk pillowcase and I've been loving using these already and I think these would be amazing if you have a special event like a wedding or some other occasion that you want to wake up and just feel you're looking extra good from the moment that you wake. I think a pillowcase like this would be great to sleep on. I also love to use these if I'm traveling. These pillowcases have a pouch inside like this so you can fold up the pillowcase and it just fits into this pouch, making it really compact to travel with. And that's great because sometimes when you're traveling, you don't know what type of pillowcases you're getting. And for me, because I film a lot when I travel, again, I don't want to wake up with creases on my face. So I really like being able to pack these really compactly and bring them with me for travel. But those are all of the products that I've been really enjoying from Lily Silk. Do remember my discount, which is 1 to Miranda, 12 Miranda, for 12% 12 off everything on the Lily Silk website. I'll put the discount code and all of the links to things that I've mentioned in the description box, of course, so check everything out there as well. But now let me also tell you about some of my other favourite things. So one thing that I love to get this time of year because it makes me feel very organised, ready for next year, and that's a diary. And this year I've got the Liberty Faber Poetry Diary for 2023. I had the Liberty Faber one for 2022 and I really loved it and I decided to get the same diary for next year. I love the Liberty cover, of course. For 2023, it's got this peacock design, which is very classic Liberty, and I love that. And I really like this diary because it has a lovely selection of poems that go all through the year, throughout the pages. Faber highlight particular poetry collections of theirs as well, which I always enjoy seeing. And there's a good sort of clear outline of the week on each page. I quite like a weekly diary with a week on a page like that. So just a nice practical diary, makes me feel organized for January, which I like. And then with that in mind too, I always like to get my calendar ready for the next year as well. And I've got a fairly sort of narrow space on the wall in my kitchen where I always hang a calendar. So I'm always on the lookout for narrow calendars. And this one by Angela Harding is what I've gone for for 2023. I love her artwork so much and this one has some really attractive designs on it as you can see for the year. So I'm really pleased with this calendar and it's perfect for the space that I have. And then I wanted to share some candles that I love with you. So this candle set is by Bridie Hall of Pentrethan Hall. This is a lovely candle set. I really love Bridie Hall's candles and this is quite a reasonable way, I think, to try out her candle range. I think this is a really good price for a little gift set. And it's got three mini candles inside so you can try out. I've chosen this set because I think it's a bit more of a wintry one. It's got pavilion and 
Covert and Obelisk. Obelisk is my favourite. I adore this one, but I also like Pavilion a lot too. I mean, I like all three, but those are my real sort of standout favourites. And the set comes with these really pretty little cards that describes the scent of the candles. So for Obelisk, it says, the smell of a gentleman's study, leather bound books, a touch of wood smoke and tobacco with a gentle hint of its owner's cologne. So a lovely winter one, this one. I mean, not surprising. I love the bookish one the most, but it is a really lovely scent. Pavilion is next. It says, the rich scent of orange blossom with a splash of wet stone. The gardeners have just finished watering the orangery. And then covert, it says, behind them in the boot room, the hunters have left the green smells of the forest, of pine branches and mossy banks. So it's a really nice mix of scents, but they're all quite good for winter with that slightly musty scent of the book room candle, as I think of it, and then some pine and a sort of wetness mixed with orange blossom for the pavilion. They're really lovely and obviously she sells these in sort of regular sized ones that you can get individually but I love the little gift sets that she does. She does two different ones I think and this is the one that's a bit more wintry. The other has more floral ones, it's a bit more summery but this will make a lovely gift or a gift for yourself if you want some bit unusual candles that have sort of very attractive scents but a bit more unusual ones and ones that maybe aren't just for Christmas but that will go all through winter and smell really lovely. I think this is such a nice set so I was thrilled to get this this month for me. And then I had to share my mum's absolute favourite thing so far in December. I'm really glad because it was a gift from me and she is just loving it. When we went to Bath, we went to a restaurant called Oak that we both really loved and there was a shop area to the restaurant and they sold some really lovely ceramics by local makers and I got her this mug which I'll, I'll obviously link to everything in the description box. This is from a Bristol based brand that hand make all of these lovely ceramics. And I got her this coffee mug in the snowdrop color. I love that it's called snowdrop. And then I got her a different make, which is sadly sold out, but this is from another ceramicist based in Somerset, and I'll link to her in case she gets some back in stock. But she makes these ceramic uh, coffee drips, and this just fits really nicely on here. But my mum has been going on and on about how much she misses having her coffee. Uh, I never drink coffee, and it's just never something we've had at home much. And I was really surprised that she started sort of falling on coffee whenever we'd sort of go out to eat anywhere and kept sort of yearningly talking about having a nice cup of coffee somewhere. And I realized it's because when she was working in London, she'd have a coffee at work all the time. And we tended to just go out for tea or coffee much more in London than we do here. So she's obviously been feeling really coffee deprived in Yorkshire and I bought her these two things and she got some nice coffee and you know she's been using that to make her own lovely coffee in the mornings now and she's so happy and she's been loving using these. So I had to share my mum's absolute favourite things from this month and I think it is, it makes it more of a ritual when you have a sort of beautiful mug and she makes a whole sort of flask of coffee. So she has it, I think it makes about two to three cups for her in the morning and she just loves the little ritual of making her coffee and making it a bit more of a uh, pleasant ritual for herself in the morning and I'm so glad that she's happy so I thought I would share those and they have really lovely ceramics um, both these makes so they're definitely worth checking out and then I wanted to share 
some lovely stationery things. So I showed this in one of my vlogs, but when I went to the Christmas fair at Ripon Cathedral, I saw this beautiful Yorkshire-based stationery company, and it's called Susan Brunskill, exclusively for Suzelle and Co. And they have some wonderful stationery sets. I really love them. The one I picked up is this Robin one, which has lovely little notelets, and I do love robins, of course, so I was so happy to get this very pretty set. But there's a lovely afternoon tea one as well that I definitely have my eye on, and there are lots of really pretty ones generally that I would love to get another one at some point, but it's great to support a Yorkshire-based business as well, so I was really thrilled to find these. And then when I went to Persephone Books in Bath, I noticed this really attractive concertina card that they had in the shop. And I'll open it up for you. This is by a make called Botanical ABC. And I'll link to it because I ordered a few other things from them, like they have some really pretty book plates and other concertina cards, which sadly haven't come yet. The post has just been really all over the place here lately. Um, but I do have the Christmas one to show you that I picked up in Persephone Books. I love how it spells out Christmas with the floral letters. I just think that's so attractive. And again, this is just a really lovely looking company. I've ordered a few more things now, like I said, from them, um, because I do always like supporting independent businesses when I can. So I was really thrilled to find another lovely stationery company. And I love concertina cards that I can put on display on my bookcases and things like that. Um, they look always so attractive. So I'm always on the lookout for nice ones and I was really thrilled to find this very pretty Christmas one. But of course it would make a lovely card to send in the post to someone if you wanted to do that. But it's also a really lovely little Christmas decoration in itself too. So I was really thrilled with that. And then I wanted to share my favourite December bargain with you. I get this pretty much every December and it is this gorgeous amaryllis plant that starts out as just a little bulb and this one has come on so well but I pick up the one that's in Lidl for about £3.99 and the bulb grows as you can see into this amazing flower and I think it's just so Christmassy. I love having an amaryllis in December, but I also use them in January as well and sort of all through the winter. And it's just such an impressive flower. It's really beautiful. And whenever I have this in my photos, people always tend to ask me what it is. So it's an amaryllis. And like I said, I love picking up the bulbs in Lidl. They're just so reasonable. And I find that they always flower really, really well. So that's my December bargain for you. But then I also wanted to share a few books. So I was really thrilled that Hatchards, which is an amazing bookshop in London, they have done two more in their Hatchards series of books. So the special editions that they're publishing, they've done quite a few in this set. And they've brought out two more just in time for Christmas. And this one is The Red House Mystery by A.A. A. Milne. I love the beautiful end papers, the William Morris end papers that are in here. And it's just such a nice edition of a really classic mystery. I love the Icelandic tradition, I think it is, where people exchange a book on Christmas Eve and then they enjoy that book sitting and reading it on Christmas Eve and I think on Christmas Day as well. And I think this would make such a good one to exchange as a present on Christmas Eve. It's not one I've actually read before or if I have it so long ago I don't remember it. So I'm really looking forward to reading this mystery myself over Christmas. It's meant to be very, very good. A.A. A. Milne is of course famous for Winnie the Pooh, but he wrote some adult novels as well and this mystery is meant to be excellent. So I'm really looking forward to that. 
And then a real favorite of mine is The Shooting Party by Isabel Colgate. This is such a brilliant autumnal read. It's a real favorite of mine. Um, think Gosford Park vibes, Downton Abbey vibes. It's a bit of an upstairs, downstairs type of period drama that's set just before the outbreak of World War I. And I love that Hatchards have brought out a really beautiful edition, again, of this book. My paperback of it is really very ugly, so I'm thrilled to have such a gorgeous hardback of this. Both of these books would make wonderful Christmas presents for book lovers, for sure. But I know a few of you have been collecting some of the Hatchards editions, so I wanted to bring your attention to two new lovely ones from Hatchards. And then I bought myself a new collection of Christmas stories uh, for this year. It's Christmas Stories by George Mackey Brown, who is a Scottish author. And I haven't read any of his work really before, so I've been dipping into this and enjoying it. And I just was really pleased to add a new Christmassy collection to my shelves this year. And then, you know how much I love my poetry, reading a poem or two a day, and this volume, A Nature Poem for Every Winter Evening, was just so attractive. I do have the big nature poem for every night of the year and every day of the year, but I love that um, they're starting to collect them within these smaller volumes that are a bit easier to handle, and it's got such an attractive cover, this one and I can't wait to read this, so I was really thrilled to get that. And then my mum found this for me, and I thought it was such a clever find. It's a truly stunning picture book. It's Stopping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening, which is a famous poem by Robert Frost, and the illustrations in it by PJ Lynch are incredible. And what I love is that he shows um, a young girl as being the sort of protagonist of the poem, who has always in the past just been portrayed as being a man in all of the illustrations that I've seen. And I love that the illustrator has changed that in this book. And the illustrations are truly exquisite. I mean, very, very special. So I think this is a really beautiful picture book and I love this poem. I love this illustrator. He did a few books I remember from my own childhood, really loving. And so it was very special to get this new one by him. And it's such a beautiful wintry poem that I love having it in this gorgeous illustrated edition. Be a perfect gift for children, of course, as well. And then I'm a big fan of the Cottage Fairies YouTube channel, as so many people are. So I was really excited to get her book, The Cottage Fairy Companion. I had to order this from America, actually, because I don't think it's out in the UK until March. And I really wanted to get it once it was out. So I was really thrilled to get this. It's full of lovely recipes and of course amazing photography and reflections on life and nature so I know it will be very inspiring and um, I can't wait to properly look at this over the Christmas holidays that's a treat that I've got lined up for the end of this month and then finally I wanted to share an audiobook recommendation that I've been really enjoying an English Christmas is one of my favourite Christmas anthologies. It's by John Julius Norwich. And I just got the audio edition of the book and I've been really enjoying listening to it so far. So I wanted to recommend that if you're in the mood for an especially Christmassy listen, then I think it's a really lovely one. And then Something I'm really looking forward to that I'm sure will be a favourite of mine a bit later this month is that the BBC Radio are doing a new dramatisation of The Dark is Rising by Susan Cooper. And that's always been a favourite 
children's Christmas book for me and I'm really excited for this dramatisation. I think it starts on the BBC Worldwide service on the 20th of December so I, I definitely wanted to bring your attention to that because I think many of you would enjoy tuning in as well and it's also a great one to listen to with all the family too. So I think that will be hopefully really good and I'm really looking forward to listening to it myself. But anyway, those are all of my December recommendations. I hope that you enjoyed them. I hope you're having a wonderful month and enjoying some festive fun yourself so far. But thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be seeing you very soon for the December Comfort Book Club discussion on Friday, which I'm looking forward to. But until then, goodbye.